तो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस आर टॉपिक कम्युनिकेशन एट वर्क प्लेस दिस टॉपिक इज एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर सेमेस्टर एग्जामिनेशन पर्पज सो टू बिगिन विद द टॉपिक लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट एक्चुअली वर्क प्लेस इज वर्क प्लेस इज अ लोकेशन वेयर द ऑफिसर्स एम्प्लॉज एंड द एम्प्लॉयर्स आर वर्किंग टूगेदर अ गुड एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ वर्क प्लेस कैन बी एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन a ministry a department or a corporate house now let us see what actually organizational communication is so as you know that in any organization there are lots of people are performing different job roles under a particular designation in an organization we can see there are people working in various hierarchies these hierarchies are actually the levels and the people who are working in a hierarchy they are performing a particular job role as you can see that large a large number of employees are involved and they are performing different sort of activities now we are going to see what are the basic divisions in an organizational communication in any in any organization there are three basic division the first is internal operational the second is external operational and the third is personal so what is internal operational internal operational is any kind of a communication that goes within an organization whereas the external operational are those kind of communication that goes outside the organization that means when company a communicates to company b be it a business proposal or a negotiation or it could be anything the third is personal now here it means whatever the employees are discussing which is not directly related to the official purpose it sometime may be related to the individual purpose now in any organization we can see various channels or flows of communication so here we are discussing about four basic formal flows of communication they are first downward flow of communication second upward flow of communication third is horizontal flow of communication and the last is diagonal flow of communication let's understand each flow in detail the first is downward flow of communication now downward flow communication refers to any communication which moves from higher level in in um, hierarchy to the lower level what does it mean it simply means if we take an organization which has a ceo or coo he communicates directly to the branch managers or assistant managers so whenever he communicates he gives instruction advice order or even feedback you can see this kind of uh, communication in the forms of telephone conversation emails face to face conversation or it could be even notices the next and a very interesting flow of communication that is upward flow of communication upward flow of communication is simply means the communication which goes from subordinates to the superiors now what does it mean when any branch manager communicates to the uh, uh, your chief managing director or chief executive officer this upward flow is extremely important because it balances the downward flow if there is mutual understanding between upward flow and downward flow then it enhances the quality and productivity of any organization you can see the examples of upward flow communication in the form of business reports suggestion box grievance result grievance redressal committees etc the third and the most interesting part of communication in terms of communication flow is horizontal or lateral flow of communication now what does it mean in horizontal flow of communication the officers who are working at the same level of hierarchy now this flow of communication is a bit less formal than upward or downward flow of communication here the people or the members are since they are working at the same level so they are a bit less formal and they are more interactive to each other and you can see that this particular horizontal communication develops team spirit and therefore it is also known as peer group communication you can see 
uh, that uh, horizontal flow in various forms like in routine meetings in teleconferencing or management gossips horizontal communication uh, flow plays a very important role because if this communication is strong it will enhance the productivity of any organization and the last uh, flow of communication is known as diagonal or crosswise communication under this flow of communication various department or ministries or organization communicates each other now this communication takes place when a manager of a particular department communicates to the employee employees of a different department or industry or company now in this communication you can see it that it flows in all directions here i can cite an example like if for a training purpose or designing a training module a sales manager is interacting with the vice president of production who is not only in a different division but also at a higher level now that kind of communication is a very good example of diagonal or crosswise communication so till now we have understood the basic four four uh, channels of communication they are uh, the downward flow of communication now what does it mean when communication moves from decision makers to the workers or the, the communication goes from seniors to the subordinates the second that is upward flow here the communication goes from employees to the employers or in, or subordinates to the seniors in horizontal channel the communication goes among the workers working at the same level and here employee to employer senior to senior communication here you can see that this communication is very strong among the three and the last that this communication the diagonal flow communication it moves in all direction and it is equally important as the rest three now i can show you a flow chart through which you can easily understand let's take the example of company a which has a managing director followed by three director these three director can be named as director 1 2 and 3 and under each director we have three managers now for example if manager 1 communicates to director 2 of company b then or oh, sorry of uh, department b then we can see that will be a good example of upward flow of communication similarly if managing director instruct or issue some circular or notice to the department then it will come under the downward flow of communication if director 1 communicates to director 2 or manager 1 communicates to manager 2 in in a particular company that will be known as horizontal flow of communication and for example if manager 3 of director 1 post communicates to the director 2 then it will become the crosswise or diagonal flow of communication i hope you have understood all these four flows easily and we will see you in the next lecture thank you so much